Greetings and salutations. My name is Trevor. I'm the host, producer, and founder of Ambassador Radio. Today's album of the day belongs to Willie Colon and Hector Laval, and that's 1971's El Gran Fuga, or The Big Break, on Fania Records. This was the second album for Willie Colon and Hector Laval to go gold after the extraordinary Costa Nuestra album. Before we get into the contents of the album, I want to talk a little bit about this cover. It might is one of the most iconic record covers of the Fania years. It goes along with the mythos of Willie Colon being this gangster, pseudo Robin Hood character, but it goes as far as to actually, you know, do a mugshot and it is signed by the director of the FBI, J. Edgar Gonzalez. El Gran Fuga was the sixth collaboration between Willie Colon and Hector Lobo that roughly lasted about nine years, and they were even recording albums as many as two, three a year. And I'm not counting the soundtracks De Galante and also The Last Fight, uh, since they're soundtracks and they were amazing collaborations, or the Good and the Bad and the Ugly, which is another one we will talk about in the near future. Standout tracks on this album include the Hector and Willie penned Abuelita. And also the Corret Orlando penned Barunto, which became a huge hit. And, and Corret Alonso does not get the love he deserves, as he pretty much, as a composer, wrote most of the major salsa anthems of the 1970s, minus Ruben Blades. <laughs> Let's talk a little bit about Willie Colon and Hector Laveau and how it all started and how they became this huge powerhouse, uh, which would eventually release such masterpieces as El Jocillo. So Willie was signed to Find Your Records at the age of 15, by the legend Johnny Pacheco. Two years later, he recorded his first album and started the lore of the criminal trombonist with El Malo, featuring a young 17-year-old vocalist from Puerto Rico named Hector Lavo, who eventually went on to be known as La Voz de Puerto Rico. By the request of Johnny Pacheco, Hector was supposed to do one song on the album. Instead, Willie liked them enough, they did all the songs on El Malo, and the rest is salsa and music history. The album also features some of the best players in New York salsa at the time, Milton Cardona on congas, Jose Mangual on bongo, Professor Joe Torres on piano, and Santi Gonzalez on bass. As far as the legacy this album leaves, it is just as good as most of the, the Willie Colon and Hector Laveau albums. But I think, honestly, if you're just getting into it, this is a great album to get your first taste of these collaborations, as it does have a lot of great salsa dance numbers, but also features an amazing amount of music experimentation in bringing other Latin rhythms and genres to the table. So to find out more about Ambassador Radio, Go to our profile here on TikTok and click the YouTube channel, which will take you to new and older shows and so much more. Also go to ambassadorradio.org where you can follow all those wonderful social medias that we're connected to. And until next time, from Hector, Willie, and I, we'll see you on the flip side. Mm -hmm.